I just had two breakfasts. Welcome back. The last hair tutorial I did was a while ago, and through life, you live and you learn, and you find where you went wrong in the past. I got a bunch of comments saying, how do you style short hair? You chopped it off, you don't know what to do. And now we're here. I'm making this video to redeem myself and basically edit anything that I had wrong in the last one. I'm Megan Batoon, and here's my updated hair tutorial for short hair. Yeah! All right, starting from the rock bottom. Before I consult the video at all, I'm going to add in leave-in conditioner. Ah! Wow, after all these years, it just never gets easier. You can quote me on that. I don't know if this works at all, but doing it makes me feel like it does. I'll put all the links in the description, but this is a Kristen S. leave-in conditioner. Honestly, ugh. any conditioner is leave-in conditioner if you leave it in. This tutorial was made in April 2016. So much has changed. Mainly, the world had optimism. Okay, that's as political as I'll get. So, I'm also going to use this BB Repair Blow Dry for Damaged Hair, which is my favorite song. I know that this other tutorial starts with my hair dry. I'm gonna blow dry it because there's one little trick that I've developed over the years to have the front bangs a little bit more, for lack of a better word, Pinterest. Here we go. Hates it. Beauty is pain, sweetie. Okay, five minutes of that, we're just burning film and our hair. So this is the trick that I've learned from the high-end salons of how to get the center part. Generally, if you just do a center part by yourself, it's just kinda broom-esque. I'm gonna section out the center of my hair in like a little semi-circle formation. In this part, I'm going to round brush. Brush it down and then flip it over and I'm going to push all the air into this so that when it falls, it cascades. I look like a Carmen impersonator. <laughs> I continue to do this until it cools so it forms in the shape of this round brush. Then commandeer it with your hands. Once it's cool to the touch, push it a little bit forward until a part starts to form. So if I'm just pushing, and that is the part for today, you have this Farrah Fawcett type of, it looks like the bottom of the broom in Beauty and the Beast. Wow, which beetle am I? Before we put any hot tool on our hair ever, I've learned my lesson from my first hair tutorial. I didn't have heat protectant spray, so I used a salt spray. Texturizing sea spray, it promotes waves, which basically is an exclamation point to heat damage. So I just spray this throughout my hair. Okay, let's begin to uncover how big of a twerp I was. Oh wow, you look naive. Who would have thought we'd be here again? Honestly, not me. As you may know, I pretty much wear my hair the same way every single day. It's what I like to call Pinterest hair. Oh my God, I haven't grown in three years. Have the front bangs a little bit more, for lack of a better word, Pinterest. Next, we're gonna section off all of our hair with this little clip. Oh, for a second I had confidence. I think these are called gator clips. I'm going to section off the same thing. I'm a little bit more lazy now. The older I get and the shorter my hair gets, the less I care about what it looks like in the back. Also, the hair is so short, it could barely even be curled. Let's just see how good we can do. If you have short hair like this, first of all, I hope you're all right. <laughs> The only people that cut their hair this short are people that are fearless or people that have just gone through some sort of really big life issue. Guess which one mine was? I'm gonna use this literally steaming Marcel curling iron. It's one and one fourth inches. I'm gonna do the exact same method of clamping one inch pieces and I'm just gonna be tapping through it. So even though it is super hot, it's on my hair for upwards of one second. These tiny ones, our nothingness is, this truly doesn't matter in the back. So I just like blindly willy nilly, just kind of like feel around and ah! No one is immune to anything. Oh, this is so, so dangerously close. You know, I don't trust myself today, so I'm not gonna do the back. At the very end, you want to pull it down and tap it down. Otherwise you're going to look like Shirley Temple. I'm sectioning off the hair and alternating the direction of the waves. Sometimes I give them a little extra boost while they're hot. That was a quote taken from YouTube.
as you get closer to the face, you want to curl the pieces away from your face. Yay, okay, once the seasons have changed, you should be on the last section of your hair. You're gonna do the exact same thing. Cool tip here, once you get to the center of your hair, in order to have a little bit more volume, I'm going to grab a one inch section, clamp it, and bring it over to the other side a bit to give it an extra little bump. That way it just bounces a little bit more. It's got a little spunk there. I do that with the whole center section. Okay, then I'm gonna save the bang for last. The same thing goes here. You want to clamp it, bring it over the other side of your part, and then continue the curl. Folks, we're getting there. Thank you for your continued patience and support at a trying duration of time. At this point, we have two sections of bangs. Take one of the sections and flip it to the other side of the part. Now, I'm opening up, whoa, should not ever do that. <laughs> Problem with gesticulation, you might die. I like the Marcel curling iron because when you open it up, it becomes a wand. So it's almost like two in one. You're gonna vertically put this on the base of your hair and wrap your hair around one time. This is gonna give it a wave, but not look super conformed into a curl. I like to go up and down, <laughs> this is sexual. Then I like to pull it out. This is getting worse. And then I just kind of like shake it a couple times. I just, I have dug my grave. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side. I hold it, I bring it over, I clamp it, well not really, and then I twist it. This is the beauty bop it. Heating it up and then I am shaking it out. Here's what you do now. Let's see what I said back then. Basically, you wanna destroy everything you just did to make it look like you didn't try that hard. To do that, we're going to be using a texturizing spray. Now it's time to lock in your hairstyle. Just bask in the aerosol fumes. <laughs> I wanted to make fun of how bad that joke was and I looked and frightened myself. Honestly, it looks so much better in person, but on camera, it looks bad. Maybe camera is the truth in our mirrors, our funhouse mirrors, to make ourselves feel better. The built-in filter of delusion. We are trying to make it look undone. I remember in high school, we would try and do this exact same thing where it looks like we didn't try. I think we called it scrub day. That was the closest I was gonna get to becoming a nurse. Sorry, dad. It would take us twice as long in order to look like we didn't care versus just looking like we cared. Oh my God. Trying. Always gonna be doing it too hard. I do end with a couple products as well, but I think I switched all of the products up since this last time. I'm not using a texturizing spray, but I'm using dry shampoo. I'm just gonna throw that kind of all over. Dirty hair stays better, and this was absolutely clean, but we want to make everything look like not what it is. Lying! what America runs on. I'm gonna put a little bit more texture at the very top, and so I'm using the Big Sexy Hay, it's a playboy horse, a hay boy. Big sexy hair powder play. I'm gonna show this on the top of my hair where I need the most lift throughout the day. I love this because it does actually stay all day. Okay, so from here you have volume at the top. We have our waves that are undone. I'm gonna end it all with the Lenoral, Len Lenor? It'd be cool if I knew how to read. Lenor Grail. This is a little bit pricey, but I really like it. I was in a favorites video a while back and I still use it every single day. Give yourself a round of applause because you probably won't get it from anybody else today. Just kinda zhuzh. Okay, from here, usually one side looks better than the other, and so I'm gonna tuck the bad side away, pull this in front of my face, and then tame some of the unruly ones. Also, if you hate a center part, no worries, bro. You can always shift over the part a little bit to be a side part, and I would still put one part behind your ear. It just gives it a little bit of um, look less bad quality to it. I'm gonna do one of those 360 things, super slow, as if I was like an NFL player while I'm reading the stats. How was that? Kind of okay? And that's how I do my short hair right now. I would show you how I put it up, but it's god awful and I have not figured that part out yet. Hopefully in three more years, I have grown as a person and hopefully my hair comes along for the ride. It's just so short. Buh, buh, buh,